guys. It's me. How you doing? All right, cool. Today we're going to grind some valves. Pay attention to what that looks like right there and right here, and then watch what I'm doing over yonder, and then uh, you're going to see how well they look, how much better they look when we're finished. We're going to stick the stem into here. Well, maybe I am. Come on, get in there, dummy. For the love of Pete. There you go, just like that, stupid. And that whole bit sticks into here like so. Okay. Now what we're going to do is this comes in like so. Now, let's pause you, I think. I'm going to change the angle on this one here for a sec. Figure it out per se, but to get it lined up where you want it. The idea is when you come in there, oops, oh, we don't do that. Do that. The idea is you're trying to match the angle. Now, this particular one, I need to move it because that's not correct, the correct angle. So, just a minute here and I'll get that moved around. So, I'm going to pause us for a sec. All right, this one's ready to go. So, what we're gonna do is a little, this little grinding wheel is gonna start spinning, okay? And uh, I'm gonna wheel this. This is gonna move in like so. And then I'm gonna bring this guy up till it just starts to kick. Then I'm gonna take just a little bit of meat off of it. And then I'm gonna run this guy back and forth like so. It's gonna grind the back of that valve off. It's pretty straightforward. You also see some lubricant coming out right there to protect it. I'm so goofy about that. Actually, that's moving on me just a little bit. So uh, what we've got here now, pretty well dressed back of the head, or valve rather. Now, what you'll notice when I show this to you, see how nice that looks, pristine that looks, okay? Now the idea is that this now will sit a lot nicer and flusher on our valve seat and we'll get a lot better compression. Okay. That's the idea behind what we did there. We'll clean up any, if there was any pitting on here, anywhere, 
we would have gotten rid of that pretty nicely by doing that little procedure we just did there. Okay, that's the game. That's pretty much all there is to them. Okay. Now, uh, I may record another one here or two just for fun, but that's that's about the extent of it here. I pause you. Here's another one. It's you can see it's pretty messed up down here. You can kind of see there's a little ridge in the valve that comes up and then it kind of dips in and then goes back up again. Okay, so we're going to try to eliminate that by doing a valve grind on it. That would not let it seat properly. If it's not sitting down all the way tight, okay, then your valve's going to leak. If our valve's leaking, obviously that's no bueno. Let me get a wrench and snug that up just to skosh. Oh, that's too big, stupid. Add a boy. There we go. Now, here we are, once again, ready to go. Again, this spins this valve so we get it nice and true all the way around. This spins the blade and pumps the lubricant. We're going to come in. And we're going to bring the blade in so you hear it touch. Oh, wrong way, dummy. Right there. And that's pretty pretty right there, friend. Let me grab the wrench. Wrench. Pump oh, back out of there so you can see here. Or better-ish. Oh, hey, that's toasty. Jesus, you're just grinding on it, big dope. Now, oh, mama, oh, oh, that looks good. Yes, indeedy. Now, again, you cannot fix that. You can't fix that. All right, but the damage that you see on normal wear and tear, yes. Clean them up, they will seal better, your engine will run mucho better. Okay? So, if that concludes this video, now we will be cleaning back our engine in step, I don't know, six maybe, and uh, in, the, in sheet six. And when we go to do that, what you'll see is, is that we'll be um, doing what's called valve lapping as well. And so, yes, we made the valve itself nice and smooth. We haven't touched the seats yet. So we have a little trick for that. There is a machine for that on that you can actually buy, but there's no reason to do that. Uh, you don't need to. And so I'm going to show you how we get around that um, and, and clean up just the part where it rides on. Now, even if you have a brand new seat and a brand new valve face, they aren't going to be perfect. Okay, just like anything else, there's always going to be kind of a break-in period where you got to, you know, get creative a little bit with stuff. So the idea is is that you're going to use this lapping compound. It's a and kind of like toothpaste, but with grit in it. If you use it on your teeth, you'd wash your teeth away, they'd rub away. So it's kind of a gritty compound. And then you turn that stuff between the valve face and the valve seat. And it tends to break them into one another, so they work together properly. So even the brand new ones, they won't work perfectly. So you gotta use that lapping compound. Now, I'm gonna grind a few of these valves. I don't think I'm gonna grind all of them. Um, there's one of these engines that has almost pristine valves, so I'm not gonna grind that one at all. Instead, I will make sure that I show you on the lapping on that one, all that one's gonna take is just a little bit of polishing with the lap, valve lapping compound. Okay, that's it. The rest of you will get your valves ground nicely. All right.